Bad news, you're definitely that kind of person who was tricked by their own brain while buying unnecessary stuff. Good news, you might become that person who can not only control their own buying habits, but also make other people buy your product or service twice more. If you don't want to know how to use fair manipulations to the favor of your personal brand, you better skip this video. But all others, get ready, because we are getting started. What was this movement? <laughs> <laughs> should I click this link or I shouldn't? Should I buy this product or I shouldn't? Should I follow this page or I shouldn't? By the way, you should follow this page to know more about building strong personal brand and how to get money from social media. You think it's you who make all the decisions. But I've got some bad news for you. It's not you, it's your brain and emotions. Specifically, the cognitive bias are responsible in the most cases. Cognitive biases is systematic thinking errors which affect our lives and especially decisions we make. And just for your information, a person makes more than 35 thousand decisions per one day. Do I need to give you some time to realize the scale of how powerful the cognitive biases are? Because I think it's blowing up the mind. Even when you need to change your clothes, you decide if you should firstly change your t-shirt or your pants. When you need to open the door, you decide if you should do this with left hand or right hand. And even while greeting other person, you decide if to say hi or hello. So each step in your life is a result of some decisions you made. Therefore, I, as a specialist in social media monetization, simply cannot avoid using cognitive biases into my favor. It's like when you can use a map to get to your destination, but you decide to avoid it and just go by yourself, get lost. What's the point of that? So I'm becoming your map and by the end of this video you will have known what are the most common cognitive biases are and how to use them to boost sales on your social media. Meanwhile, put your like and follow me because I've just started this channel so each of you can make a huge input into my success and I would be incredibly grateful for that. Let's get started. First, anchoring bias. The information is percepted on the basis of affection by the first reference point provided. This first reference point can also be called anchor, that's why this bias is called anchoring bias. If to put it in more understandable way, the way you percept any piece of information depends on the first reference point you obtained. How to use it for increasing sales? You can present your product as a cheap one and people might start thinking, let's say, about $40, but in fact your product cost $80. What they feel? Negativity because of overpriced product. Their anchor was $40 and you are selling the product for $80, which is almost why almost basically it's double more it's like too much however you can present your product as valuable and worthy and people might start thinking of let's say 100 dollars but in fact it turns out that your product cost 80 dollars it makes them feel they're having a great deal moreover you presented the product as one of the high quality so this will appear to them like a super deal first of all product of high quality secondly the price is low Lower than they expected. They would definitely like to buy it. Second FOMO, second bias. Second bias, FOMO. Fear of missing out. It is the bias which makes you feel afraid of missing out something that everyone else will be experiencing. This particular bias works for me a lot. So how can you use it? If you introduce your product as something unique, as some experience that nobody will ever be able to obtain from any other source, people will be willing to buy it even if in fact they don't need it. Just because they are afraid that after a while they will be regretting missing out such an event. Here it is really important not to make it too obvious, not to push the line. If you every day repeat the same phrase like, oh, you can't miss it out, you can't miss it out, uh, people will feel that you are insisting a bit too much. <laughs> but if you implicitly show that this will be the experience of their life, that it, it will turn their life 180 degrees, they will fall into trap. 
Number three, framing bias. Implies that the way people understand the information depends on the way you provide it. This is one of the most common techniques using for growing sales, and I'm sure you have already used it in your life, just you haven't realized it. Imagine you are selling a workshop where you will reveal a secret of some special selling technique. You can introduce it saying that 90% of marketing specialists do not know about this special technique. But you can also say that only 10% of marketing specialists know about this technique. The statistics is totally the same, but second formulation sounds way more persuasive. It also gives us a feeling that we are going to obtain some unique information and this makes us feel so, so special. And everyone loves being special. Four. Halo effect. The halo effect is a trend for people to have some positive impressions regarding a specific subject in one area if they already possess a positive impression regarding this subject in another area. Basically, I would say that this bias is a basis for performance of personal brand in general. So if one have a positive impression about you as a person, they will also like your values, your ideas, your beliefs. Then they will tend to believe that you are such a great expert and your product is definitely high quality one. Wow, Chris is so funny. I can guess that she's a really smart one as well. And I'm pretty sure that her product can definitely solve my issues. This is the way you will think after watching this video. But what you need to keep in mind is that Halo Effect works in both sides. So when you are evoking negative emotions within your audience, for example, you need to use some hype topic, etc., you need to balance it really well. One step extra and then whatever you do, however you try to rehabilitate, it will not help you. Because negative emotions are much, much stronger than positive ones and to spoil your reputation is always much, much better than to build it again. 5. Hyperbolic discounting Human tendency to choose immediate award over the one that they can obtain in future, even if this immediate award is much smaller. The obvious explanation is that people hate waiting. Especially nowadays, people are so impatient. I am impatient. What about you? So if you suggest your employee to get $50 today or $100 in a month, they are likely to choose the first option. The way you can use this bias in sales is to announce that the result will be obtained immediately after the use of your product. For example, Blah, blah, blah. For example, whilst uh, Chris, for instance, while launching a long-term product such as a course, you can guarantee incredible results, but after a long period of time. Likewise, after my course, which lasts three months, you will be able to start earning one thousand dollars per month as SMM manager. Sounds seducive, except for the fact that it will happen only in three months. But if you say that already after first three weeks of course, your clients will be able to start gaining experience and working as SMM manager, their subconscious will tell them it definitely worth buying. Six reciprocation bias. This is my favorite one. The idea is that when a person obtains something worthy from you for free, they want to give you back in order to thank you. That is why it is so vital to have some product or service in your product line, which is free of charge. Of course, this product also needs to serve the idea of your blog, the topic of your blog. By the way, you can check one of my videos to get more information about that topic. So guide, workbook, educational video, you can choose any type of product or service you want, the most important is that it takes you not too much time and budget to be done, but at the same time the one which allows you to uncover the topic properly and to provide some useful piece of information to your audience. Because despite the fact you're not going to monetize this specific product or service, it will give you customers which then will spend much, much more money on your products. Think about that. What you need to remember is that you shouldn't expect something in return. First of all, on the level of feelings, people will feel it. <laughs> Secondly, I'm sure you know this rule. Give more and you will get more. Give this product with a true desire to help people and you will definitely benefit from it as well. Well, it's not all existing bias, not at all. So let me know in the comments if you would like to know more about cognitive biases and the way you can use them for boosting your sales on social media. See you soon, bye.
Wow. I'm good. Turt.